Five Mysterious Child Disappearances When a child is born, it becomes the realization of a dream and an unanswered prayer for every parent. But for those whose child has suddenly disappeared, it's a dream turned nightmare. And it becomes hell when the child's disappearance is unexplained and the chances of finding them remain uncertain. Watch the stories of these five children who vanished mysteriously. Number one, Asha Degree. For Harold and Aquila Degree, February 14th, 2000 should have been a red letter day as it was not only Valentine's Day, it was also their 12th wedding anniversary. Instead, they were on red alert because their nine-year-old daughter, Asha, suddenly disappeared in Shelby, North Carolina. Asha was asleep when her father, Harold, checked on her at 2.30 a.m. An hour later, two motorists saw Asha walking along North Carolina Highway 18, and one of them said Asha ran and disappeared into the roadside woods. By 6.30 a.m., Aquila reported her daughter missing, and police began a search and rescue operation that lasted for a week, but didn't bear fruit. Did Asha run away from home? But she was raised well in a happy home and was doing great in school. Her belongings were found years later, but didn't provide any strong leads. In 2008, Asha's family launched a scholarship and an annual walk in her memory and is still relentless in finding her. But the burning question really is, is Asha still alive? Unfortunately, it's been unanswered for 19 years now. Number two, Madeline McCann. Madeline McCann's disappearance at age three has the elements of an engaging suspense drama movie, luxurious setting, interesting characters, and unpredictable twists. The one thing is lacking though, a factual ending, as Madeline's case is still unsolved even now. The McCann family and their family friends were on a seven day spring holiday in a luxurious resort in Algarve, Portugal in May, 2007. On the night of May 3rd, Madeline was missing in their rented apartment while her parents had dinner with family friends. Madeline's disappearance became a sensational case pursued by Portuguese and British authorities and media. A suspected British man was briefly arrested. Many persons were interrogated for the Madeline disappearance case, but they didn't lead to her discovery. The most heartbreaking twist was when the McCann couple, both physicians, were considered suspects and media even speculated that they were responsible for their daughter's death. Did you kill your daughter? No, that's an emphatic no. Madeline's parents refused to give up searching for her, and the British investigations and inquiries have cost nearly 12 million pounds so far. That's how dear Madeline is to her parents and country. Number three, Michael Dunahy. In a blink of an eye, four-year-old Michael Dunahy went missing on March 24, 1991 in British Columbia, Canada, which changed his family's life forever. But 28 years after that ill-fated incident, one thing remains constant in the hearts of Michael's parents, Bruce and Crystal. Their hope to find him alive is still burning. Things were pretty normal for the Dunahy family on the day Michael vanished. They spent the morning at Blanchard Elementary School where Crystal practiced flag football as father and son watched. Then the blonde tot played in the nearby playground with Crystal's permission, but when Bruce went to check on him, Michael was gone. Sadly, it was the last time they've seen him in 28 years. The police classified it as an abduction and started an investigation. In different instances in the following years, reports of men believed to be Michael breathed new life into the case but DNA tests showed that they weren't the Dunahy boy involved in one of Canada's largest police investigations. To date, 11,000 tips have been received, but none comes close in solving Michael's case. Number four, Karan Horman. School is supposedly one of the safest places for kids, and a mother figure's company is security guaranteed. But on June 4, 2010, it was the opposite for Karan Horman's situation. The seven-year-old boy disappeared while in school after his stepmom, Terry, brought him to Skyline Elementary School in Portland, Oregon that morning. Terry even posted on Facebook a picture of Karan beside his project, the Red-Eyed Tree Frog, for the school's science fair that day. Later that afternoon, Karan didn't come home and was subsequently declared missing. A 10-day exhaustive search and criminal investigation followed suit, which was the largest in Oregon history. The plot thickened when Terry was implicated in Karan's disappearance, as well as in a plan to kill the boy's father. Despite failing two polygraph exams, Terry denied the allegations, believing that Karan was abducted. She faced a kidnapping lawsuit filed by Karan's real mom, 
who later dropped the charges so as not to interfere with the police investigation. In 2018, Karan's case was described as still active and ongoing, despite negative results of searches for more evidence. Number 5. Timothy Pitson How could a mother's immeasurable love for her son lead to her self-inflicted death and the disappearance of her only child? Such is the question surrounding the heartbreaking story of six-year-old Timothy Pitson, who spent his mom Amy's last three days on Earth with her, and then he vanished forever. On the morning of May 11, 2011, Timothy's dad James drove him to school in Aurora, Illinois. Shortly after, Amy picked up her son, citing emergency reasons. Investigations revealed that she brought her son to Brookfield Zoo, spent the night at a Gurney, Illinois resort, checked in at Kalahari Resort in Wisconsin on May 12th. Amy phoned her mother and brother-in-law on May 13th, telling them that she and Timothy were safe. The boy was even overheard saying he was hungry. That was the last time relatives heard from mother and son, because the following day, Amy was found dead by committing suicide with a note apologizing and assuring family members that Timothy is in good hands and will never be found again. Indeed, no trace of Timothy has been found for nine years now. If you enjoyed this video, then please subscribe to our channel for your daily fix of awesome infotainment.